Good afternoon, my dear students. Once again, this is Sir Paolo. How are you doing, my dear students? Okay, I hope and I pray that everybody is doing well at their respective homes, okay? Uh, sana nasa maganda kayong kaayusan at malusog yung pangakatawan nyo, okay? Because we will be discussing another lesson. This is for second quarter, fourth week. Okay, the lesson that we're going to discuss is about law of exponents. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, so after the discussion class, this is the objective. The following are the objective that you need to attain at the end of the lesson. First, you have to evaluate numerical expression involving integral exponents. Second, demonstrate understanding involving positive integral exponents. And last, despite of this pandemic, you demonstrate the value of perseverance and positivity in accompli accomplishing tasks. Okay, so relax lang, konting chill lang um, while answering all those problems na nasa inyong modules. So before we will proceed class atong proper lesson, I want you to watch, okay, and observe this video. This is one of my, my, my son's favorite um, toddlers na mga video, no? And shout out to Simple, Super Simple Music, okay, kids video. You can check out the link sa, sa ilang YouTube channel. Thank you for this video. And while watching, again, you observe kung sa ang inyong nakita sa video because we will be um, using all those observations later on sa atong discussion. Okay? Let's go. Do you like broccoli? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like broccoli ice cream? No, I don't. Yucky. Do you, do you like donuts? Like donuts? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like juice? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like you like donut juice? juice? No, I don't. Yucky. Do you like popcorn? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like popcorn pizza? No, I don't. Yucky. Like bananas? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like soup? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. do you like you like banana soup? No, I don't. Yuck. Okay, that's it. So, class, what had you observed in the in that video? Okay. So first is makita na to, There are two different food, no? Individually, they are delicious. Like for example, yung banana and the soup. Kung kaano ni mong banana lami, kung kaano ni mong soup lami. Pero pag ikon combine niyo sila, it will not give good taste, na no? Maruwin ang lami sa food. Okay. So later on in our discussion class, no, na ay mga ingana. The same thing, like for example, sa inyong TLE class, okay? 
there are specific tools na gamitin niyo for a specific task. You can not use this kind of tool pag dili na siya for that certain task, right? So, na yung mga ingana ng butang. The same thing with mathematics, there are mga rules na atong sundon. Na pagka na nga rules, the same with thing with the video, atong gipugos o combine, atong gipugos o tibo silang dua, it will not give a good result. Or, maybe your result is not correct. Okay? So, mauna ang atong bantayan while nagatan ang taani nga video. Okay? So, let's continue. Let's have a little review. Okay? So, in this lesson class, first is you must be familiar with exponent. Okay? So, you're done with this with your grade 7 and grade 8 and let's have just a little review. And also the variable or sometimes the base. Okay? And last, the coefficient. So, what are these, do, uh, what are these three? No? Anong difference nila? So, I will cite this example. Let's say, for example, we have 3x squared. Okay? If manotis ninyo na atay tulo ka, figure, numbers, okay? Na nakasulat din na. First, we have the number 3. What's next? Yes, meron tayong x. And what's next? Okay, yung 2 nga nasa taas. So, sa kaning tulo, which is which? Okay? Tanaw na to, what is 3? What is x? And what is 2? Okay. What do you think? Is 3. Is 3 an exponent, a variable, or a coefficient? Okay, let's check your answer. Okay, 3 is the coefficient. How about x? What do you think is x? Okay, let's check your answer. Alright, pasensya na tabunan. But it's the variable or the base. And lastly, syempre, wala na ibang nabilin, kundi Right. 2 is the exponent. Okay? Or the exponent. Let's move it a little bit lang, class. And take note of this class. So, pag makakita mo ganyan expression, yung number katapad sa isa ka variable, that is what you call the coefficient. Coefficient of that certain term. And kanang 2 na naa sa ibabaw sa x, that is called exponent. And syempre, kung unsa ang naa, if mapansin ninyo class, kung unsa ang gi exponent kani sa 2, x, that is the base. Okay? Or the variable sometimes, the base. Okay? So, we'll call it now as a base. Okay? Nakuha na ninyo. So, familiar with this app, coefficient, exponent, and variable. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. So, in your module class, you open your module, open it, and tanawas activity 1, yung complete me. Makita ninyo, there is a table there, and kailangan natin ikompleto ang entry sa table. Okay, so let us call what you have learned about exponents by completing the table below. The first row is provided as in, as an example. So I will show you the table na naa sa inyong module. Okay, I hope everybody is naa na sa, sa ilang module and while watching this video. So let's take note of this example. Meron tayong example, 5 exponent 2 or 5 squared or 5 raised to the power of 2. So, we will find the base. So, base sa atong review class, we all know that ang base is mautong na ay exponent. So, sa 5 squared, asa di na ang base? Correct. 5. And our exponent, definitely, that is number 2. So, what does it say? Meaning, if you expand that one, that is 5 times 5. Okay? Meaning, you multiply 5 
โอเค2กับ5โอเค base sa exponent so kung you have 3 exponents 3 ka 5 ang i-multiply nimo sa isa't isa okay and the product is 25 so that is 5 times 5 is equal to 25 sa table ninyo class more ng example but i will give you another example yung number 1 answer na to no para mas masabtan ninyo so first we have 6 squared what is the base correct the base is 6 and what is the exponent? Correct. The exponent is 3. Very good. How about what's the expansion of this 6 cube? Or 6 raised to the power of 3. What's the expansion? Very good. That is 6 times 6 times 6. Because the exponent is 3, it says that you have to multiply 3, 6. Okay? So that's how it works. And what is the product? Very good. 216. That is 6 times 6 times 6. So I hope class, nasabta ninyo kaninga simple na activity. So we before we proceed class, I want you to pause this video. I-pause ninyo dito sa yung YouTube channel. And you complete the table. Answer sa ninyo yung table. After ninyo answer lang table, you go back with this video. I-play ninyo yung usap. Okay? So... In a count of three, I want you to pause this video and let's see later on kung sa ang tama ang answer. Actually, you can check it sa inyong module gap on sa inyong answer key. Okay? So, let's proceed. You pause in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, class. Welcome back. Assuming na na-pause na ninyong video. And let's reveal the answer. And you check if tama ang inyong answer nagibuhat okay sudden and this is the answer okay so isa isa na to so you have two two raised to the power of six yung base nato is two so we have the expand we have the exponent six and expansion niya is two 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 and that is two times two times two times two, and that is sixty four and we have negative one Exponent is 6. And take note class, since that is negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, and that is positive 1. Class, bantayan ninyo ninyo look at. Pag negative gani ang raised exponent, and your exponent is even number, when you say even, ang sa ganing even, kanang pares. Normally, ang result yun ana is positive. Okay, positive yun ang result ana. If you raise a negative number into a even number. Okay? So later on, pag add na po, always ang result is negative. And let's continue. We have negative 2 raised to the power of 4. So negative 2 exponent is 4 and negative 2 times. Okay? And your answer is 16. Look at 16. That is positive because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Times negative 2, that is negative 8. And negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. And the last is we have 10 raised to the power of 5 times 10, or base is 10, exponent is 5, and you have the expansion, and the answer is like, this is 100,000, I think. Okay? So you double-check your module. So I hope, class, tamang inyong answer, and you get the right one. Okay? If really, uh, you correct, you just correct your, uh, no, your, your answer. Okay? So let's proceed. Again, so this is the answer. And let's have have this. Okay. So my first question class is, what do you observe from this activity? I want you to write it down sa inyong papel lang gamay. Okay. Ang ipasa ninyo sa ko, ah. Write this question and you also answer this one. Okay. I want it na pagpasa ninyo sa inyong answer sheet sa ko, ah. You also answer these three questions na akong ihatag sa First, what do you observe from this activity? Second, what happened to the base when raised to a certain exponent? Look here. What happened to this base when you raised to a certain power? Anong nangyayari sa isa ka base? Okay? Then last is we have how does exponent works? Okay? Paano nagawork ang exponent? Unsang purpose exponent? What does exponent says to a certain expression? 
Okay? I want you to answer this one later on. So, after sa atong discussion, okay? Then, ipasa ninyo nag-appeal sa ako. Ah. Alright? Let's continue. Okay. So, let's go on to our discussion class. Okay? So, there are three. Sa inyong module class, there are, I think, um, nine or eight law of exponents. Okay? But for today, for this video, we will also all only discuss the product rule. Okay? There are nine rules, I think, or eight rules. So we have product rule. We have power rule. And also, the power of a product rule. Okay? Let's focus with this topic first. Okay? And the following rules will be discussed sa lahing a video. Okay? Let's focus on these three first. So first we have... Okay, let's have product rule first. Okay, what is a product rule? Okay, according sa inyong module, sa inyong definition din na, when multiplying like bases, again, take note, when multiplying like bases, we copy the base and add their exponent. Again, I give an emphasis to the class, akong i-highlight like bases. Kabalo naman what is a base. So meaning, kung mag-multiply daw tagparihag base, unsay buhaton. Add their exponents. Okay? Sa inyong module class, I think, klaro ni siya. So first is, we have to copy the base. Kung unsa tong base na common or pariha, just copy their base and just add their exponents. Ingana lang siya kadali. Okay? So, let's have this illustration here. Let's say, for example, I have A raised to the power of N. Okay? Times A raised to the power of M. And this A is another term or my exponent. And this is also another term. Tanawa ninyo, class. They have the same bases. Parihang base nila, di ba? So, this A represent any number or variable. Pwede na siya number, pwede variable. Pwede 2, 3, 4, or pwede X, Y, Z. Okay? Represent lang siya for now as letter A. Pero pwede na siya anything. Oh? Pwede siya number, pwede siya letter. The same ang ilang base. Which is, yun yung sabi ng definition. Ano sabi ng definition? Like bases. We multiply like bases. So, we multiply two terms na the same ang base, which is A. Unsa day buhaton? Okay, the same base. And this also is the exponent. Unsa buhaton? Very good. All you have to do is copy the base, which is A. And, okay, copy the base, the same. And you have to add the exponents. Unsa asa ng exponent? Yes. Kana mo na siya. And M is mo na siya. So, you only have to add the exponents. Okay? So, apply the rules of adding and subtracting integers. So, the same thing, the same rules. Okay? So, ing anak lang siya ka basic class, ing anak lang siya ka science. You just have to remember. Okay? Again, ako para, the same thing with our video ganina, na kay apple, ah, na kay um, ice cream, na kay broccoli, dili sila pariho. Tama? Nung gi-add ang broccoli o ice cream, it does not taste good anymore. The same thing with this. Ang only lang ni mo, pwede ni mo i-multiply is the same basis. Okay? So parang may kalintula dyan sa video ganina. Okay? Take note of the video or always remember na dili pwede ihalo silang doa. Mau na gingo na pinagtagpo pero hindi pinaghana. Okay, let's go. Let's have an example sa inyong module. So, in your module class, you have an example, 3x squared, y cubed, times negative 5xy. Okay? So, sa product rule, all you have to do is, you multiply or add, or let's say multiply the same basis only. So, first is you have, okay, kung sa ganin ni siya class, is this a base, coefficient, or variable? Yes. So, lahat ng coefficient class, maura po i-multiply. 
So you have three times negative five. Okay. Next. Okay. Si x squared of x, mauro po ni mong i-multiply. Ano man? They have the same base. Like ang ilang base. Again, on sa ibuhaton, you multiply. So x squared times x. And lastly, you have y cube and y. So you multiply po ni mong si y cube and y. So karon ato na na-identify kinsa ang mga like terms. O kinsa lang ang pwede natin i-multiply. Now let's apply the rule. Anong sabi ng rule when applying like bases? Copy the base and add the exponent. Okay, let's continue. So sa so coefficient na to class, just directly multiply 3 times negative 5. Unlike sign, so the answer is very good. The answer is negative 15. So with the second, derive sa x, tanawa, like ang base, so you add the exponent. So that is x 2 plus 1. Sir, basig mag-question mo, sir. Asa ka gikag 1? Class, take note na ka ng x na agyo na exponent na 1. Nakita niyo ng red na kung gibotang din na 1. Naan na siya 1 class. Pag 1 ang exponent, dili na na siya ginasulat. So pag maka-encounter mo x, y, even kaning atong coefficient, di ba? Wala man na siya 3. Wala may exponent. Ang 5, wala exponent. Negative 5. That, uh, that is understood na naan ay 1. Okay? Take note of that. Naagyo na siya ay 1. So, pwede na nato dila siya isulat. Okay? Tanawin niyo ako nang gitanggal because that is understood as 1. So, next, this one, y cubed times y. The same thing with x. Naana na siya ay 1. Okay? So, your answer is negative 15 x 2 plus 1, that x cubed. And you have y 3 plus 1, that is y to the 4. That is your answer. Did you get it? So I hope nakuha ninyo class, no? Ingana lang siya ka-simple. Okay? So next example ta class. The next example is a cube b fourth a squared times ano. Uh, a cube b to the fourth close and open parenthesis multiplied to a squared b squared c. So, unsa gani ang una natong buhaton class? Identify like bases. So, identify nung like and base. So, this time you have a cube and a squared. Next, you have b squared and b to the fourth. And last is you have c. Sir, si c, siya rin isa sa pikasula. Class, if that if that is the case, just copy. Ha? I copy lang. Let's say for example, na pa siya z na pa siya w, niya, wala siya ka-multiply, wala siya ka-parehang a base, just copy. Isumpay lang siya. Okay? Then, apply the rule. Okay? The rule says, copy the bases. Okay? Then, add the exponents. Same thing with this. B squared, B to the fourth. Untay buha ton. Add exponents and copy letter C. Okay? So, a, 3 plus 2 exponent, that is equal to a to the 5th, b to the 6th, and c. So, your answer is a raised to the power of 5, b to the 6th, and c. So, that is product rule. Nakuha. Okay, very good. So, if na mo mga di na sabtang class, you can replay. Move backward lang kagamay para mas masabta ni mo. Okay? Okay, so we're done with the product rule. What's next? Our rule, okay? What does power rule say? Sa atong module, when we raise a base to two exponents, we multiply those exponents. Again, ang base raised to a two exponents. Duha ang iyang exponent. Let's say for example, a raised to the power of n. Pero si n, gi raised na po into power of m. Meaning, a raised to the power of n, raised to the power of m. Duha na kabuk exponent niya. So don't get confused. What does the rule says? Okay, you have two exponents. On sa ingon sa rule, just multiply those exponents. 
meaning you copy the base and you multiply the exponent. Here it goes. Okay, take note ha, N and M are exponents. Yun. So just copy the base class. Okay, look. Si M and si N, mi multiply nato sila dua. Nakuha ninyo? So just copy the base, then multiply the exponent. So N times M. Tingana ang power rule. Okay? As simple as that. So let's have an example. Okay, so we have negative C raised to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2. Again, unsa ingon? Okay, you raise this by two exponents. The rule says you have to copy the base and multiply the exponent. Nakuha? So 5 times 2. Kita ninyo? So gimultiply lang nimo ang exponents. So that is 5 times 2. Alright, so you multiply it. So you have negative c times or raised to the power of 10. If makita niyo sa inyong module class, ang module, ang answer is c raised to the power of 10. How does it come? Sir, negative c raised to the power of 10 man. Tinganin ni siya class. Okay? Well, let's go back to the table the answer niya previously. Napansin niyo class, katong giingon na ako sa inyo, ha? when a certain number is raised to a negative or when a certain base is raised to an even exponent, this one, di ba even? Ang result na is positive. Nakuha? Okay. So, yung na lang siya. Let's say, for example, this one. Negative 2 raised to the power of 4. 4 is even. Ang result is positive. So, the same thing with this. Okay? Kanawa. This is the expansion. Negative, 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 times negative 1, times negative 1. So, meaning... The result is positive 1. So, the same thing with this. Actually, class, if we close na ni siya, okay, this is close, yan. Okay? See, yan, naka-close yan. Okay? So, meaning, ang negative C, gerace ni mo to a certain power of X, which is 10. So, if expand na ni mo, napulo ka buok negative C, the result is positive. Okay? So, take note of that. So, let's have another example. Okay. How about this one? Ayun, negative na pud sir. Negative na pud lagi. Tanao na to. So, raise to the power of 3 and you raise to another power of 3. So, what does we get? What, what does we get? Or what are we getting now? We are getting negative x raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3, which is we multiply both exponents. And the result is 3 times 3 is equal to x to the negative 9. And that is the answer because tanawa ninyo ni, negative, negative. Pero ang iyang exponent is even. That is why positive. In this case, what's the exponent? 9. 9 is odd. Dili pares ang 9. So that is why the answer is negative x. If you wanted to try, you try 9 ka negative x, you multiply 9 negative x. The result is negative pa rin yan. Okay? So, that is for product or power of a product rule. Question class. If one, if wala, actually class, if you have question, right? If you have question, you can comment down below. You comment below this video and you ask kung sa yung things na wala nyo na subtan. So that, I can correct or I can um, elaborate it more to you. I can explain it more to you. Kung, what are those things na wala ninyo na sabtan? At least kung mag-comment mo dito, I can directly contact you through Facebook and tell you unsa tong or answer unsa tong inyong mga nalibugan. Okay? So I hope you comment down or i-PM ko if there are things na wala ninyo na sabtan sa kaninga video. Okay? Okay ba tana? Okay, let's do, let's do this. Okay. And last, we have power of a product rule. What is power of a product rule? Power of a product rule says here, when we have a product, again, this time, na emphasis na rin, na. If we have a product, when we say product, Gimultiply. 
then the product is raised on exponent, we can simplify by raising each base in the product to the exponent. How does it work? Let's have an example. Here, my product tayo. Ano yung product natin? Ito yung product natin. Diba? 2 times A raised to the power of N times B raised to the power of N. Ito yung product natin. And it is raised to an exponent. And the exponent is X. Nakuha ninyo? If na notice ninyo sa previous example nato class, tag-isa-isa lang. Okay? X raised to a power of negative and everything. Pero this time, you have a product. You have 2 raised to the power of N, B raised to the power of M, raised to the power of X. Tatlo na. So, unsay buhato nato this time. We can simplify by raising each base in the product okay, to that exponent. So, meaning each base, ato siyang i-distribute ang exponent. Isa-isa ho na to. You have two base. Is first not on a base is we have two. Second, we have a raised to the power of n. Ang atong base is n. And third, we have b. So we have three kabok base. We have two, a, and b. And nagingon ang definition, ato siyang i raise, okay? Raising each base, kada base erase na to, to that exponent, which is x. And this is the result. <coughs> okay. Isa-isa ho na to. Okay. I-distribute na to si x, saka 2. So, ang result is 2 raised to the power of x. Next. Again, previously sa power rule, we all know if a base is raised, uh, if, a, if an exponent is raised to a certain exponent, we multiply those exponents. That is, that is why we have, <coughs> excuse me, we have a raised to the power of n times x. And also we have, ayun, m raised to the power of x, or that is m times x. Okay? So, yung ana lang siya class. Okay? I-distribute lang, i-multiply lang na nimo ang x sa bawat base, ang iyang exponent. Nakuha? So, let's have an example. Okay, first example, so we have 2x squared, y squared raised to the power of 4. Isa isa na to, so that will make 2 raised to the power of 2, right? Next. What's the result? Very good. Result is, okay, x raised to the power of 2 times 4. And last, what is the result? Very good. So you have y raised to the power of 2 times 4. And you multiply the exponents. So you will have 2 raised to the power of 2, that is 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. And x, okay, 2 times 4 is 8. And you have 2 times 4 is 8. So that is the answer. Another example. So you have this one. Negative 2p times 2p, a uh, 2q raised to the power of 3, close and open raised to the power of 3. Napansin ninyo, class, duha ka buok. Okay, na kay coefficient, na po kay variable. Okay? So, kanang duha, i-raise po ni mo sa 3. Okay? Meaning, si negative 2 raised to the power of 3, and also, you have times this one raised to the power of 3. So, meaning si 2 and si Q raised to the power of 3. So, 2 raised to the power of 3 times kani, 3 raised to the power of 3 times 3. Okay? So, you have 3. So, meaning ang tanang power gi-distribute ni mo every base. Take note class, this is only applicable if you have a product sign. Multiplication lang. Kung plus nang naadi na, dili siya applicable sa distribute. Okay? Take note of that. So, let's simplify. So, that is equal to, again, take note, negative 2 raised to the power of 3, that is a negative, and raised to an odd number, the result must be negative. So, that is 2 raised to the power of 3, that is 2 times 2 times 2. So, look about 2. Okay? So, the result is negative 8. 
Then, copy p raised to the power of q times 2 raised to the power of 3, that is positive 8. Then, q raised to the power of 9. That is 3 times 3 here. Okay. So, tama na ba itong answer? So, dili pa. Nga naman, class, you have take note of this. Na kay duha ka coefficient. Class, if you have cases like this, na naay mga coefficient, ipang multiply tanang coefficient. Okay? Dapat na ka isa ka coefficient sa isa expression mo. So, negative 8 times 8, that is equal to negative 64. Then, you copy the variable p cube and q to the 9. So, that is the answer. Plus, that is a product of a power, no, power of a product rule. So, these are the three rules na under sa law of exponents. Okay? So, we only focus these three for now. So, you will have the other rules the following day. Okay? And take note, you only answer first. Under this application in your class, you open yung module ninyo sa getting better. For this day, you answer activity 2. Okay? Yung remember me this way. Okay? So, simplify the following algebra expression by applying the law of exponents. So, write your solution on the box provided. Only answer 1, 2, 3. Okay? Remember, 1, 2, 3. Kasi the rest, di pa na ninyo ma-answeran ma because lahi pangalo ang applicable din na. So, in, uh, um, in problem 1, 2, 3, law, power rule, and the rest of the rule na ang atong gidiscuss ka lon, pwede na siya sa problem 1, 2, 3. Okay? And also, after this, answer also class yung sa gaining mastery. Okay? So, sa gaining mastery, you only answer 1, 2, 9, and 13. Okay? Kana lang sa ang inyong answer and for today. 1, 3, 9, and 13. So, if dili niyo maklaro basa diri sa, sa video, kaning mga problem and uh, um, choices, please refer to the module ninyo. Okay? Nakuha. So, Plus, that is all for today. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Okay, so again, thank you for listening. This is Sir Paolo Rodolfo Paolo Monteros. You can contact me. Okay, I have the information. My email, actually, nakasulat din na. So, if you have questions, clarifications, concerns, please contact me on those information na nakita niyo sa video. And please don't like to share and like this with your classmates. Okay? Please inform your classmate na we always have this video to help you understand yung mga modules ninyo. Okay? Again, hindi kayo nag -iisa. I will be here providing you this video so that kahit malayo man tayo, magkasama pa rin tayo. Okay? So, God bless you all guys. Um, see, see your, Juan, I want to see your answer sheets na maansiran yun to ninyo ang atong gidiscuss karoon. Okay? Thank you and God bless. I love you all.